Hello, hello, pretty makers. This is my first Christmas project of the year and one that I'm very proud of. I've been thinking about how to make this for a few weeks now and it all came together with a few Christmas Dollar Tree supplies. You could also use this for a Halloween countdown or any occasion really. Think farmhouse wedding countdown. <gasps> how pretty would that be with the faux wood charger in the back? I think we're gonna have a spring video coming up so look out for that. There were a few moments when I didn't think this would work but wow it definitely exceeded my expectations. I really love how it came out. I even impressed myself. So if you're ready, let's go make something pretty. As always, let's talk about some of the primary supplies first. I used a wood round sign from Dollar Tree. I got mine last spring, but you could use the fall pumpkin signs that are out right now. They are the same size. I also used a gold charger for the base. I played with a few options for the clock hand and the turning mechanism and I'll go over all of that in a minute in detail. You'll also need some letters and numbers. I use Dollar Tree stickers customized for this project, but if you have a Cricut you could cut your own. Obviously some paint. I used green for the face of the dial, but you could use any color that works with your Christmas decor. I'll leave a full list in the description of what I used. The first step was making the Santa sleigh and reindeer. Again, I don't have a Cricut and I couldn't find a sticker that would work, so I had to make my own. I used a really cool technique. I've used this technique before on my high-end pumpkins video. I'll leave a link here and in the description so you can watch that as well. To do this, you will need a picture of what you want. I'll leave a link of the printable I used in the description. You'll also need a clear cutting board from Dollar Tree and some tacky glue. Basically, what you do is trace your design onto the cutting sheet with the tacky glue. You need about an eighth of an inch thickness of glue for this to work well. The Santa and the reindeer were pretty detailed, so I was a little worried this wasn't going to work, but it did come out great in the end. Once you have everything drawn out, you can set it aside to dry overnight. You'll know when it's ready because it turns clear. It goes from white to milky to clear. Next, give the round sign three coats of paint. You need three coats to get a solid base. Make sure you let it dry completely between coats. Now let's make the clock hand. Before all the Christmas stuff started coming out at Dollar Tree, I was struggling with what to use. My first thought, which is still a really good option, was to use the dress up crown from Dollar Tree. You can cut out pieces pretty easy from the crown, then lay them out to make the shape you want. Use a popsicle stick to put it all together. I would spray paint it all metallic gold. But then I saw the tree topper from Dollar Tree. Wait till you see how this came together. The tree topper splits apart into two pieces really easily. It's also pretty easy to cut. I wanted to cut out one of the swirls from one of the star's points, including the center and a bar from the opposite side. I also wanted part of another swirl for the other end. The toughest part is to cut the bars away from the center. This turned out to be pretty easy, 
just score the joint where the bar attaches to the center first, then it snaps right off. A little touch of hot glue work to put all the pieces together. I was pretty impressed that this came out perfect. What do you think? For the letters and numbers, I used some Dollar Tree stickers. Because you need multiple ones and twos, I had to buy several packages. To make the stickers gold, I tried to paint them with gold leaf paint. This would have worked except some of the numbers didn't have the centers cut out. So I switched to using a gold paint pen. This actually worked even better. Paint all the letters and numbers you need for the project as well as the Santa and the reindeer and let them dry. While they are drying, I started working on putting the base together. Find the center of the round sign. Drill a hole on that center point. Drill the same hole in the charger. I thought drilling a hole in the charger would crack it, but it was fine. Now you can secure the two pieces together. I used a screw with a nut as the turning mechanism for the clock hand. To make the clock hand turn, I used a nut on the back of the clock hand. Check that out. It worked. I placed the numbers lightly in place, starting with the top. Then I put the 6 and the 19 centered on the left and the right. Then the 12 and the 13 straddling the center point at the bottom. This will allow five numbers between each of those points. Continue putting the numbers in place. I just eyeballed it, but if you know how to measure and make it equal, let me know. Do the same for the words. I laid them out first on a piece of plastic, then placed them on the face where they looked nice. Add the Santa and the reindeer. For the top detail, I used a mobile phone accessory from Dollar Tree. Glue a piece of popsicle stick at the center top, then glue the accent to the stick. Once you're happy with the placement, press all the stickers firmly in place and seal everything with a coat of polycrylic. I attached a hanger to the back of the charger in the center so it would hang flat. And that's it, you're done. I cannot believe how amazing this turned out. It's almost a perfect dupe for the $129 Grandin Road inspiration. It's gonna be the perfect accent to my Christmas decor. I cannot wait to start the countdown. I hope you saw something today that inspired you. If you did, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave me some comments. 
I thank you for watching and keep making pretty things.